hello and welcome today we are going to implement a skin color detection and segmentation in matlab there could be various reason for which you want to segment the skin color uh, one of is you are doing some kind of project which required asl which is american sign language and you want to interpret what the sign language is saying uh, the other use case scenario would be uh, you maybe want to detect the disease, uh, skin disease, so you want to segment the skin color. And there could be various such projects where you want to segment uh, the skin area first. So today we are going to focus on ASL dataset and we are just using a background which is black and uh, uh, the front of skin color hands and we will be segment uh, segmenting these hands so what is the first step the first step is image uh, uh, acquisition and uh, after that we will be pre-processing and uh, which could involve resizing smoothing and removing some kind of noise from the image if there is a noise uh, but because we grab pictures which are pretty smooth and uh, are not prone to noise so uh, these images are pretty uh, denoised already so we will not be covering a denoising method in this video but the denoising techniques are discussed in other videos if their videos are not uploaded yet i'll be uploading them soon so let's start with the matlab and uh, let's prepare a blank uh, uh, workspace First of all, uh, let's close all, clear all, and CLC. This will be clear over workspace, and we'll have a clean uh, variable set and clear command window, as well as closing all previously opened when, uh, images. Next thing is to grab the image from our folder. The folder which contains our images is the data set and the image name is hand3 and we are just reading this image from mrate method after that we just simply showing the image with the mshow function so this will read the image and here you can see the image size is 400 by 403 we may require to um, uh, resize this image into a smaller uh, image size which could be a reason and after that we'll be segmenting over skin color so now if we want to resize the image first of all create an image resize variable the next thing is we are going to use the im resize function which will resize over image and inside the first parameter would be the actual image which we want to uh, resize and after that we have to provide the size in which we want to resize that image so we want to resize the image in 256 by 256 so we'll be uh, resizing this i am original image so let's uh, grab this variable and paste it here uh, but if you uh, try to resize this image you will notice that there is something um, which is 256 by 256 by 3 image resized and we can simply show that with the figure m show function so we will simply say that we want to uh, display the resized image and it will be displayed so this is a resized resized version of the original image the next step which we want to implement is to segment over the skin color so this is the actual part which is that main topic of today's video for that reason what we need to do we need to color space transformation and uh, there are various color spaces which we can use for segmenting over skin color and uh, the image we just uh, read from the disk is in RGB color space which is red green and blue you may be very familiar with that color space already uh, but there are two other color spaces which is H HSV and YCBCR so hsv is uh, a very uh, well-known 
color space which is used for most of the color segmenting projects and YCBCR is another format. Uh, we have discussed the HSV color space in our previous video which is related to color segmentation. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave that link into the description or the i button. You can check out that link. So if we move to the help section for converting the YCBCR to RGB color space or vice versa, the YCBCR color space is widely used for digital video. In this format, the illumination, the luminance information is stored as a single component. So the Y component is the illuminance of the whole image. And after that, the chrominance information is stored in two different color components, uh, uh, CB and CR. That's why it is Y, CB and CR. Y is for the illuminance and CB is the represents the difference between the blue component and the reference value and CR is the red component uh, with the reference value. So the uh, conversion is very simple. You just need to read that image in RGB format which we you want to convert and after that just pass that RGB image into RGB to YCBCR and your image will be converted into YCBCR color space. So if you grab this function and put it here and uh, replace the image RGB into your IMG resized, you will see a YCBCR uh, converted image so you can grab this information if you try to uh, figure in show and y c b c r uh, that image will look like this so here you can see the image is in y c b c r color format one more point i want to to highlight is why uv color space which is another color space used in video but it is very similar although it is very similar to ycbcr uh, but remember these two uh, color spaces are not identical although very similar uh, similarly if we move into another color space transformation which is H hsv although we covered that in another video but I'll recap that that HSV color space is the combination of hue saturation and value and remember this is not like HSI although the it is very similar to HSI but it is not the HSI as this uh, documentation says that MATLAB image processing toolbox software does not support the HSI color space uh, it is in my version of the MATLAB which I'm currently using uh, maybe uh, things had changed in the upper versions and hue saturation and intensity if you want to work with that color space in terms of hue saturation and intensity values uh, you uh, the, uh, remember that HSV is very similar so uh, there is another device independent color space uh, which is LAB color space will not be covering that color space maybe uh, the HSV color space is used by people who want to select the colors uh, from the paint or inks from the color wheel or color palette uh, because it corresponds the better to how people experience color than the RGB color space does so uh, this is some representation or illustration of the hsv color space where you can see the hue a section value and saturation uh, the conversion is pretty similar so uh, what you do is you use a similar rgb to hsv color space and then you can simply uh, grab all the components separately and you can plot that values so if we uh, grab that color code and we'll just uh, paste it here and uh, we use the reference image image as img resized and we put it here and then if we um, start another figure and let's run this section you will see that this is the hsv color space segmented so how you perceive this is um, as you can see first of all the first section is the hue section and uh, then we have the s section and then we have the v section uh, because rgb is uh, we didn't replace that from okay let's do that here as well uh, 
we need to image resized and uh, let's um, grab this section separately and then we simply run this section and here you can see our image so we have that edge section as you can see that as you may see that in the v section we already have pretty neat and clean hand image and we can simply apply the thresholding method to convert this into a binary uh, but we will be using a pure um, it, functions which uh, are required when you are actually doing the hand segmentation or the skin color segmentation in real world scenarios so for that reason we will assume that the background could be other than a simple plain black background so what you would do uh, the next step is to uh, apply a segmentation and uh, you need to apply a color masking so we will be creating a color mask for over um, uh, hsv and by cbcr images first of all let's give a more meaningful name to the hsv image and uh, we will be applying a segmentation on once done we are simply applying a skin mask which is just selecting the edge section which is greater than zero uh, the s section which is less than 0 0.1 and uh, there this combination value uh, from uh, the uh, v section so we are applying hsv mask and if you run this section uh, you will be notice that here you can see there are a lot of patches and there are a lot of uh, uh, pixels which are not properly uh, segmented as a skin color and not in the mask of the skin mask so we need to apply a morphological operation and for the reason we apply morphological operation we are using m close function and um, we uh, apply the uh, we read the image and we apply a structuring element and then we pass that binary image and structuring element to this image close function it remove pretty much all these uh, patches so let's come back to this and try applying this morphological operation here you can see these two patches are still remaining but let's uh, try this with the m fill function which is to fill the holes and uh, if we run this section the hole is filled but this section because it is uh, close to the edge it is not filled so let's grab that image from original image resize which is a color image and we apply this multiplication with the mask so only uh, that mask section will be grabbed from the original color image and everything which was not present in the mask will not be selected from the color image that's how you can uh, 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 segment uh, or only the mask value of the binary section from the color section so if we, we try in the ycb cr color space these are the threshold values which we need to implement and if we run this section uh, we need to uh, let's uh, from this ycb cr if you notice that this is the ycb cr image if we apply uh, the same technique on ycb cr you will see that in the ycb cr there are no patches so we can simply grab that color Color image uh, segmented from YCBCR color space so that's all for today's video see you in the next one if you have any uh, question just leave a comment and uh, if you want to ask something just ask me from in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for the future upcoming videos if you like to see more MATLAB image processing videos